<laughs> hey YouTubers, it's a kind of music and this is probably going to be a short video. Anywho, I am at one of my favorite spots, Green Cup Cafe, and I just, well obviously, I just had the best dark chocolate ice cream. Anywho, I wanted to check in with you guys to let you know about my trip. As most of you guys know already, I am going to Thailand. And it's about, what, a little less than two months now? So I'm still excited as I was in the beginning. I'm still just as nervous as I was in the beginning. I am going through uh, a program called TELF Heaven. That's T-E-F-L Heaven. And it really has been heaven sent finding this program, you guys. I was so worried about, you know, getting suckered into some scam and it took me forever to finally send that deposit money because, you know, deposit is now refundable and I know from this point there's no turning back. May will eventually be here and by that time I will have had to have everything in order. Um, starting with criminal background check that I'm going to need as well as my visa. And before I could do the visa portion, I have to buy my plane ticket. Now originally I was going to do a one-way trip, but one of the stipulations to the program as well as even attempting to get my visa at this point, I have to get a round trip ticket. I was not expecting that, so um, yeah, I'm pretty much hustling and bustling right now to get the funds to cover a round trip ticket. Um, I mean, it makes sense because my training is for a month. I am well aware that I may not find work within that time period and, you know, as all good things must come to an end if I don't. So um, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, you guys. I'm still studying. I'm still working my butt off. Again, I, this plane ticket's not going to buy itself. So <laughs> yeah, I will hopefully have my plane ticket by the second week of April. That is my game plan because, again, I got to get a move on because... I gotta get my visa and um, yeah that's pretty much where I am with that portion of it my room pretty much looks like I just moved in I am down to two medium-sized bins one bin is all of the toiletries and things that I'm still currently using and then the other bin is just more stuff that I'm getting rid of um, I actually have like a freebie bin at my condo now where my friends whenever they come over if they ever come over they just kind of go through it find anything they like take it it's theirs um, anything else after May I'm just going to take it all down to Goodwill and make sure I get my donation card <laughs> showing that I made a donation because it's got to go I am not paying to have anything shipped to Thailand I am just, I am so excited, you guys, and I'm so ready to be there. I've already booked my room for the month through the program, and they sent me the link for the uh, hotel that I'm staying at. And you guys, um, if any of you have ever been to Key West, it kind of reminds me of a Key West bed and breakfast, really. It's gorgeous. It's so cute. And honestly, it's some it's a place that I would legit stay if I, you know, when I do travel and I do go out. I don't like hotels or motels. I actually do prefer bed and breakfasts. I like that that homey feel, if you will, which is why I I'm in love with this place. Um, I'm through the moon about it. And so far, the representative for the program that is in contact with me, she has been so helpful and so responsive as far as getting back to me with messages and answering all my questions. Because I have a lot of them. I mean, as each day goes on, I have another question and another question and another question. And she's just been on the ball awesome. So there's that. I'm kind of glad that I didn't leave. Well, originally, I was going to leave in April. But that didn't happen um, because there's so many things that I have to do. I can't just get on a plane and go, especially now that I have to get a round trip versus one way. So um, having less than two months, it's nice. And then it's not so nice because uh, I, I still get to see my friends and I still get to say, you know, some some goodbyes that I need to say. But for the most part, I just want to be there already. I want to be training and meeting new people. I still haven't even logged on to the Facebook page yet. Um, I probably should do that. <laughs> but I'm just super excited, you guys. Like, I am so ready to take this challenge on. I've been studying and working for two years towards this. And 
it's been on my mind for almost three or four years if I could even teach at all and now that I'm getting the tools that I need to do this I just I feel ready to just go for it and make it happen and oh I just wish it was happening yesterday <laughs> but it's worth the wait and I am still just as excited as I was about it beforehand and I don't know it's good it's actually nice in a way that I have time to prepare because it gives me the opportunity to let people know where I'm going. Um, a lot of people still are shocked by the fact that I am going to teach and every time I tell someone, oh yeah, I'm going to Thailand to teach, it's like, what, why, what's in Thailand? And I'm just, I'm excited uh, and I'm happy and I feel really fortunate that I have this opportunity to take this chance and I'm literally, I'm I'm stacking the cards and hopefully they're in my favor because you guys it's it's legit happening like there's no turning back I've said it and now I just need to follow through and make it happen um, like I said the first month is training and actually in my case I don't even think it's the full month I think there's three weeks of training and if I'm not mistaken I have a week where I pretty much go out to interviews at different schools Okay, there was like no noise for like the whole 10 minutes I devoured that dark chocolate ice cream and now just rustle everywhere. But <laughs> like I was saying, like the first three weeks is training and then there's a week of job placement and then that's it. I will officially be a teacher and <laughs> it blows my mind. So if you guys are on a similar journey, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. If you're also doing the Tough Heaven program or you have done it, Please let me know how your experiences were in the comments below. Um, what else? Or if you have any advice, any tips, any words of encouragement, that would be awesome too. Um, I just recently started a GoFundMe account. Um, so if you guys want any more information about that, I'm going to be sure to post a link down below so you can share and read my story. And if you can make a donation, that would be totally awesome. I actually have a... Um, what is it I forget what it's called like a little bonus thing if you donate a certain amount I'll write a story about you so yeah I'm looking forward to that and yeah it's such a gorgeous day it is just every day seems to be better and better than the day before ever since I started this journey and I am excited to share this with you guys I probably have said excited at least eight times so don't play a drinking game with me for the next month if the word is going to be excited because that's the best way I can describe it is I'm excited I'm fortunate I'm giddy I'm I'm elated I am just I'm all over the place and it's just it's been awesome. It's been an amazing, amazing experience so far, and I haven't even really gotten there yet. Um, so I will check back in with you guys more once I have more information. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be inspired, stay inspiring, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>